Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just It, where I am playing Terraria Modded Bards. Last episode we... Well, we dealt with patchwork and we managed to get ourselves the Vicious Mockery, which is a pretty nice weapon. I also went into the underground ice biome and got enough of these ice shards to make an icy piccolo. Which is, uh, I, I would say that's a pretty decent weapon though. And also does frostbite damage. This thing pierces though, like Vicious Mockery also pierces two enemies. And in this episode, we're going to go into the underground desert because I still need uh, antline mandibles for both a weapon and also for the first boss, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be fighting in this episode. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Also, I forgot that I planted these trees. So allow me to cut them down. And um, how much do I need for the ukulele? Eight. I also need a starfish. <laughs> I see. Okay. I guess I'll come back to that later. Because <laughs> I need to make my way over to the ocean for that. And unfortunately for me, uh, both sides of the world have corruption in them. So there's not particularly an easy way to get there <laughs> for me right now. I guess I might as well make some platforms out of this. There's a couple of other trees over there. And also I am going to have to make my way over to... Over to over to the ocean if I want to or not. There is eventually gonna be a day where I need to go over there. Oh joy. Um hmm. Ooh, there's an easy ant lion down there. Well, <laughs> easy. There we go. No ant lion manables there. Unfortunate. I'm going up to the door, get the stuff. Are you ready to be hit with vicious mockery? There we go. That is one ant line manable. How many do I need for those? Like for that weapon? Uh, I need two of those. Okay, that's not too much. That's really nice. And an umbrella. How? <laughs> How long is it gonna take for me to get the flutes? Like the basic bard weapon. Okay. Right, there was also something that would increase my inspiration, but I don't remember the name. And also don't remember what I need for that. So that's another thing that I should take a look at. Because I thought I needed stardust for that. Maybe I should take a look at that once I... Once I am back. Either with or without the stuff that I need. Also, I noticed that I need, off camera, I noticed that I need a lot of coal. But I haven't encountered a single piece of coal quite yet. I also don't know at which layer it spawns, so... I guess we'll have to figure it out. Also, there's another house down there. Did you... Did any of you guys see the speed that that thing just went? Gotta love these fucking antlion chargers. Doesn't do that much damage there. Fish's mockery is. Fish's mockery's damage is a lot better. Also, extractinator. Also, gold portal. Because why not? Alright. Uh, ah, I see. <laughs> another, another extractinator in there. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not really gonna. I'm happy that I have an extractinator. <laughs> I also still need another antlion mandible though. Actually, I'm gonna need a couple of those, but... Okay, they can drop down. I had no idea. Hello, friends. Well, I would like to call you a friend, but I'm pretty dang sure that you're not so friendly towards me. There you go. No, I'm, I'm animal. <laughs> this playthrough is also probably going to be the first playthrough where I'm actually going to care a lot about um, about prefixes on my accessories, which I usually don't care about. So that's going to be interesting. I'm doing the freaking roulette in that one. I would say that Terraria is like one big roulette, really. 
depending on what you get. Depending on how your world looks and just some other stuff. That's actually one of the... I've noticed that that has become one of the gripes I have with Terraria. And that is the RNG shenanigans. That you can have, that you can deal with if you're unlucky. Like a lot of a lot of Terraria revolves around RNG, and I'm not particularly the biggest fan of that. It says the guy who plays Fire Emblem. <laughs> Lots of camera. I managed to make a lot of life crystals from the uh, life shards. I think they were called the ore that you can find. Because I had a lot of that. Also killed one of the. Uh, one of the heart mimics in the last episode, so that's why I got like 30 of those, which meant three freaking uh, life crystals. Hmm. I guess I'll leave that for now. I do have enough antline manuals to be able to make the weapon that I wanted to make, but I kind of want to continue exploring because I would really appreciate it if I could get either Herbie's boots. Or, like, just anything, really. <laughs> anything decent. Any decent accessory. I'm gonna need Hermes boots. That's just a, a given. I'm gonna need those. And then there's also... Oh, boy. So, I'm gonna need... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. They can't reach me. So I need Hermes boots. What do I also need, man? I need so many things. Oh boy. See you later. Did you see the speed? <laughs> Jesus. No, but I need Hermes boots, and what else do I need? Um. Ban for generation wouldn't wouldn't be bad particularly, and I definitely need a double jump. I also need I also need enough gems to be able to make a grappling hook. Those are the things that I'm trying to get right now. Hmm. Let me see though. I'm not too deep down quite yet, but the thing is... Ugh, these antlions are insane. Let's see though, because... Actually, no wait, I need a storm line thing probably. Instead of a normal antlion. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back then. <laughs> Fuck it. Hello, friends. I should probably expand my uh, my village. What are you used for, aside from this? Alteration station and mineral launcher. Okay, I guess I can sell one of these. So let me go and do that. There we go. Let me also give you this. Umbrella. Uh, nothing. I ain't got nothing on me. Shurikens, and that is just about it. Okay, we're going quick stack. Oh, I love it. I, I love being able to quick stack. It's so much fun. Once everything is sorted. Okay, let's have some water leaf and an archery potion and builder potions. Let me go and put my extractinator outside. Also, seven gold. Oh, yeah, right. I ran to a gold portal. That actually could have been really dangerous. Let me go and grab my lottery tickets. And get some crates. Wow, two gold crates. Pretty dang lucky. That's it, because I think I can combine a couple of these into certain items. Enchanted sundials. Like an enchanted sundial. Sandstorm in a bottle, or a cloud in a bottle, or ban for generation, or whatever. But it's either that, or I just open up these things and pray. Ooh, I can make sailfish boots. But I'm not sure how good the sailfish boots are. Because I think both of these things are pretty dang bad. Wait, do you make them at a workbench? Wow. <laughs> nice. Hmm. What would be more important? I think a double jump would be more important right now. Yeah, sure. Warding, that is the best. <laughs> That's the best thing I could have gotten. I think I'll leave the rest for now. I'm not going to go and open up the rest of these crates just in case if I get more. So I guess I'll throw you in the furniture chest. And musket balls can just be trashed. Because I don't need no stinking ammo in this game. Well, not in this playthrough. There we go. And now I should be able to make myself the antlion maracas. 
I'm not sure how useful this weapon will be at this point. Since I already have a couple of things that are better. Throws out a shaken sand splash. Players in power. Hmm. I see, so it's like a short range shotgun thing. Then I think I'll replace it with this one. Movement speed, ooh. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna bonk you in there. Now. Let's see though, because... What do I need right now? I was thinking about either doing a boss mid. <laughs> maybe, maybe doing a boss or going to the ocean. You know what, fuck it, let's go to the ocean. <laughs> Actually, no, it's always night. Hmm. Since it's almost night, I think I'm going to go down into my little mine shaft of fucking death and destruction. Well, hmm, I guess I can go this way. Because this kind of stops around here. Well, maybe not. I guess I'll just go down and see how far I can get without dying. <laughs> I guess that's the most important thing at the moment. It's like the first. Hmm. It's like the first episode of every single playthrough. Or the first couple of episodes of every single playthrough is just me running around in the mines. <laughs> just mining. Which does make a decent amount of sense. Like in the early game, you just need to mine a lot. Go and grab this blink grid. Because I would have to beat the Eye of Cthulhu before I can actually buy potions from people. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll just go down here and I'll see. Die by the power of my flute, bitch. Also, I needed to take a look at how to increase my inspiration. Or not really like that, I just need to see what I need to be able to do it, because I know that I need certain items for that. Some blink with over there, but I take it that you're immune to uh, frostbite. <laughs> Come on! How much damage does the the horn do right now? Actually, that's 15 damage. That is still pretty dang nice. Also, blood mode. Man, I'm happy that I went under <laughs> that I went underground. There's not much for me to get in the blood moon. So there's not a lot of point for me to to uh, for me to go and check it out. I've already checked it out before. I've defeated Patchwork, which is not a a boss I needed to beat, but I beat him anyway. Oh, for the love of eat the maracas! Well, the maracas don't really do that much. Can you please die? Oh, you're invincible right now. Why are you invincible? Jeez. This is the worst. Come on. There we go. Ah, I see you're a woman of culture as well. I'm gonna go and build a rope. Make my way over this way. Put myself safe and away from those dudes. And let us go and begin the carnage. Well, I would say... <laughs> I would like to say carnage, but it's not really carnage. Also, that's not even going to reach. Hmm. I wonder what's better, though, from all of my weapons right now. And here she goes. A colossal nymph. I'm gonna wait for my inspiration to come back. So the vicious mockery does more damage. Also, just so I can attack. Really? I'm really hoping there's not gonna be some crazy enemy attacking me right now, because if I can get a metal detector from her, that would be really nice. Well, actually, this is gonna be good for the quest also. Even though I don't I think I need to do the quest because there's not a lot of 
I don't think there's a bar weapon that drops from... Like, that I can get from? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Any of these rare enemies that I can beat is just good in general. Can you please, you know, take all of it then? She still isn't dead. There we go. Wow, I fell right onto that thing. Cool. Really? Really cool. <laughs> Let's see though. Did I seriously just destroy that torch? Wow. Can I please? Thank you. Wait, what, what did you just see appearing? Life course, okay. So now I have a metal detector. An engrossing one. Two more seconds to my empowerment duration. Let's get rid of that uh, family heirloom over here. The thing that does true damage. Or well, the thing that would eventually do true damage if you make a weapon out of it. There we go. Hello, friends. Get disabled. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, coal. Oh my god, there's coal. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's pretty dang amazing. Uh, let's see, where can I go right now? I guess there's some stuff down here, still. I can hear some water to the right of me. No, yeah, let's go to the right. I'd really like to have like a good place to explore underground. Like a normal underground, not this. Because, <laughs> oh my god, I, I've i started off the game by entering, like by exploring the underground desert and the underground snow biome. Which is not a good idea, especially not in expert mode. Are you kidding me, dude? Get the fuck out of here. Ah oh yes, spiked ice line and two of those dudes. Let me see what's in here. Nothing. Which means I'll just be avoiding this place. Goodbye, friends. I'm really happy that I got some smooth code because I can make a lot of things about uh, of that. Or with that. Let me say it like that, huh? Underground? Underground background? A lot of silver, and also some more life cords. Give me that shit. Because I'm actually eventually going to need it for a weapon. Also... Doing mining in the early game is sometimes pure hell, though. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's not particularly the best way to do it. But unfortunately, sometimes you don't got a freaking choice. Also, there's thorium somewhere around here. There's a crawdad coming this way. They can probably reach me, so I think I'll just go and kill him before he gets to me. If you hit all of these things, they can actually be really good. Aha. We have found an exit, yes! No more snow biome. For the moment. I don't particularly need anything else in the snow biome. At least for the moment, so... That's also a nice thing. Right. Aha. Now the question is, is the real one, or... Okay. Because yes, people, thorium adds uh, life crystal mimics. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. Not sure how rare those are, though. But I know that they're not particularly good news in expert mode. There's a worm. There's a fucking worm. Okay, he's gone. Well, gone. He's. He hasn't reached me yet. He will find a way to reach me now. I can hear you. Where is he?
I don't know, but he's not particularly far away from me and it scares me. <laughs> okay. You know, this double jump is actually pretty fine. I thought, it would be really, I thought it would be really bad. But no, this one's actually pretty decent. A tsunami in a bottle. Oh no, not you. I'm going to use Fish's Mockery because it pierces. I thought something fell in my head, but no, it was it was a piece of water. Which now looks like blood because... Blood Moon. Because hashtag Blood Moon, that's why. There we go. Give me that shit. Um, hmm. I think I'll leave that for now. Don't really care too much about it. Hmm. I can see some coal over here. Okay, man. Give me that coal, brother. There we go. Also, a skeleton up there, but. Except if I can get a hook from him. I don't really need to care too much about those. Hmm. What's over there? Ah, skeleton. Okay. Um. Hey, friend. <laughs> oh, he's actually stuck over here. That's amazing. Let me go use my maracas. There we go. Eat the piccolo. Nice. Oh my god, the mother load of freaking rubies. That's amazing. There we go. There is my hook. <laughs> there we have my grappling hook settled. Nice. The only thing I still need are Hermes boots and maybe also a ring of regeneration. Also, what the fuck are you? <laughs> yes, use the bugle horn in panic. Look at how... I'm sorry. Look at how these... This AI is figuring out how to get to me. Oh, joy. Thought I was done with the ice caves. At least for the moment. But no, here they are again. Yikes. Okay. Ooh, there's some emeralds over here. Which are the ones that I really need. Oopsie. Okay, come on. Got him. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Get away from me. <laughs> How many bats are going to appear? <laughs> Get away from me. You're literally one of, if not the worst enemy to deal with. As a ranger of some kind. I, was, I just, I, I saw the trap, I was like, oh wait. Why didn't the trap activate? This is the guy who got rid of the freaking pressure plate. Ugh. While also having hiccups and burps. Because that's definitely good for commentary. <laughs> Even though I gotta say, my commentary is not amazing right now. <laughs> well, there's just not much, but that is Terraria, I'd say. Terraria just... Especially when I'm mining and all that jazz, it's... I find it very difficult to commentate over this, where I'm just running around mining. Except if something funny happens, of course. Ooh, there's a coin bag over here for, <laughs> for a grand total of one silver. Also, I'm gonna grab that bookcase. Uh, an ice blade. Huh, it's a pretty nice blade you got there. Okay, and then we have another railway over here. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go back. Because I have a decent amount of stuff right now. Okay, let me go and quick stack as many things as I can. Uh, gonna throw the blink root in there. I'm gonna make myself a ruby hook. I see. I guess also going to throw you in there. Uh, that is the uh, enemy drops. Okay, now. Oh man, having a freaking grappling hook is so good. Ice blade, are you used for something? I don't think you are for this playthrough. No. Just going to get rid of you. I'm going to keep that thing. Suspicious looking eye. That can be very useful. Let me go and throw the family heirloom in there also. Uh, Fed of potion. Go and use the lottery tickets. For some more crates. 
What can I make with the iron one? Tartar sauce. And some other crops. I'm just gonna go and use you. Really? What a fucking joke. <laughs> just giving me another tsunami in the bottle. No, well. What am I. Why do I. Why do I keep doing that? So then we also have tungsten, which I don't really need, but. Nah. Okay, now. Let me go and see how I can improve my. Inspiration. So, uh, up by 1, up to 20. Hmm. I see now. I need, uh, I need Thorium for that. Also, still need Dynasty Wood for some other stuff. Storm Flares. Ah, the Talents. Okay, so it wasn't... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Makes a decent amount of sense. Alright. Let me go and put you over here then. Nice smooth call. So, I can make myself the Guitar Pick. Which would increase my playing speed. String moment projectiles bounce an additional time. Hmm. The grand piano. Allows you to rith rhythmic My god. Rhythmic I am not even gonna try to pronounce that word. Play on a big piano. Successful. Successfully timing hits will steadily increase its damage, empowering level and bounce amount. Uh miss timing hits will decrease these bonuses greatly. Between weapon swaps. Uh -huh. Uh, plunger Mute, 6% increased Symphonic Critical Strike chance. Critical Strikes uh, caused by Brass Instruments. Increased Attacks uh, release a spread of Piercing Sparks. Sp piercing? <laughs> uh, yeah, packs of Piercing Sparks. <laughs> and a Mouthpiece for... I feel like I have a lot of mouth weapons right now. So maybe I should make the Mouthpiece. Oh wait, <laughs> Arcane Armor Fabricator. <laughs> I guess I'll make the piano then. The Grand Piano. You have got to be kidding me. I hate this game. Here's the perfect example of why I hate this game sometimes. So, I go out of my way to make this really cool piano thing, and what do I get for a prefix? Well, minus 10% damage, uh, minus 10% velocity, and 1 second empowerment duration, minus 1. Fuck you, game. Especially when it... When you have to make like a difficult thing. I'm gonna buy this thing. Cause lifeform analyzers are good. I'll go and just keep you in my inventory. I'm gonna go and put these healing potions in here though. I guess we're gonna see how this works. Huh. Interesting maneuver. <laughs> How much does this use actually from inspiration? One. It does give me plus four defense though. Wow. I'm sorry, but that's pretty dang insane though, plus four defense. Do these things uh, pierce enemies? Okay, so if I miss a note, I'm not doing any damage. It also bounces off walls. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a very difficult weapon to deal with. But I'm just gonna hold it in my inventory. For when I feel like playing with a piano, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see, though. Also ropes, I need you to be up there. Oh yeah, right, my annoying iron axe. Oh, fuck this game. Um, what's next? Because I have a pretty solid amount of HP right now. Do I have any iron skin potions? No. I do have the blink root, which I need for that, I think. Not sure though. Okay, uh, what was I doing again? <laughs> what well, I was technically exploring down here... Hmm, I'm gonna need the arcane ar armor fabrication. Maybe I should go and make more houses. Don't know when the blacksmith spawns though. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll end off over here and off camera. I'm gonna go and e expand my building. And next episode, we might actually go and deal with the Grand Thunderbird. Depending on how 
certain things go. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Just I was playing Terraria, Bart. And next episode, we're gonna go and do what I just said. Goodbye.